<laughs> what kind of a name is the Spread 'em Show? <laughs> But don't you remember on Dragnet, you know, they'd put them up oh, and oh, yeah, spread them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Cooking Cheap. I'm Larry Bly. And I'm Laban Johnson. And this is my ink pen. <laughs> and these are some letters from you. Now, we're, Larry, can you believe it? We hope the Cook sisters have not died and left us the money, but somebody did because... Look at this. Expensive paneling. We just paneling. can't believe it. New wall of... Uh, Paper. Well, it's really uh, new walls too. New walls. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. It's incredible. Our staff has just ruptured themselves <laughs> over the summer it's months unbelievable. rebuilding our set. It really is. It actually smells clean in this kitchen. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. Give us a couple of weeks. Oh yeah, it'll be. We'll be back to no normal time. again. We even have a window this mm -hmm. year. This is the first show of our. And it night. looks like the sun shining. Well, it is too. <laughs> Looking <laughs> like the show of the yeah. window of the sun shining. Larry yeah, Dyer's <laughs> son standing right out there. No. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it does look Well, like we're so just exciting. so glad to be here. This is the first show in the studio of our ninth year of Cook and Cheap. Oh, Lord. Can you believe it? We've yeah. been here longer than some of you have. Yeah, <laughs> I can believe it. Oh, me, well, the letters have come in, and wouldn't you know, the first one we got this year is from somebody straightening us out from a recipe last year. A crab. Well, no, no, not a crab, but do you remember uh, the apple cake that I made that was so dry. Oh, it was terrible. It was real dry. I've been taking on water for months and well, still haven't gotten it down. Uh, W.C. Robbins, he, he does want us to know that the apple cake can be done correctly. And he huh. sent us, and it, the card that he sent it on, I'll, honest to goodness, it looks like a card that his grandmother may have used a few years ago. It's all yellowed and carefully typed. But he sent us his family recipe for apple cake, and I can assure you, Mr. Robbins, that I will make. This what is cake. this little thing here? It says, "Read this letter." <laughs> well, I'll anyway, read the whole letter. We've seen his prep sheets. Well, no, no, I, I'm sure that's that's enough. Well, the only problem with it was that you baked it too long. Mm -hmm. That was the only problem. Yeah, with it, it. it just needed it called not for right. too long. Too long a bake. Dear Larry and Laven. I first started watching your show because there was nothing else on except the Holy Rollers. But now, <laughs> I look forward to watching your show every Sunday. You're the only two I know that are a bigger demo team in the kitchen than I am. <laughs> but I really want to know is, can I have your pig in a hammock poster that's in your TV kitchen? That's right behind me there. Uh, uh, and it also says, P.S., you guys need to make more desserts. That's the pig in the hammock poster. And I tell you what, we will pass this on to the very lovely Doris. Yeah. And she has the address to send you to let right. you know, okay? Right. And uh, somebody, let's see, Betty Southard of uh, Clearwater, Florida, wrote in and said, uh, we watched your show for the first time on Memorial Day. Don't know when I have laughed so much and also enjoyed the dish you prepared. Hmm. And I don't know what that, the dish here, keep up the good work, we need more humor. Well, believe me, we'll keep up the good work, and I'm sorry you thought it was so funny because we're just humiliated. Mm -hmm. Dear Laban and Larry, my family watches your show, Cooking Cheap, every week. We really enjoy it. It's different. Tootsie Morris, Stanville, Virginia. Great name, Tootsie. Tootsie. I love it. And this Sounds is like from Elizabeth, Elizabeth Childress. Lizard. Liz <laughs> Elizabeth Childress in Bumpus, Virginia. Oh. <laughs> Bumpus. 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 <laughs> well, anyway, Dear Cook and Cheap, I love your show. I think it is very funny, but I wish you your will be more careful when you are cooking. I am 10 years old. Mom and me like to see your show every something. Every now and then. Tell Larry that I think he is cuted and he has <laughs> and he got fat. <laughs> So uh, thank you very much. The I people always of enjoy Bumpus it. notice that you have porked up a little bit, fly. <laughs> in my old days. Well, dear cooks, I'm so glad that you are all back on Channel 23 here in Richmond. You were off for a while. <laughs> Sincerely, B. A. Paris, Richmond, Virginia. Thank you very much. And I want to show uh, the little Blanken Chip children out on Starkey Road here in Roanoke, Virginia, uh -huh. uh, did this fine little drawing of us. And I think it's a real good drawing, particularly of Laban. Yeah. Uh, and they spell so good, too, you'd never know they were just in junior well, high school. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and there's one of Laban especially. You can uh -huh. tell it's a, got a real dorky look on his face. <laughs> so anyway, uh, thanks an awful lot for sending those. We appreciate that very much. Well, and now, the letters just continue to come rolling in. Now, in case you didn't see our first show last week, let us explain to you what's going on this year. We're going to do a balanced meal, and we're going to start today and go all the way through to the very end, which is desserts. And mm -hmm. those of you that wanted desserts, well, we're going to do more desserts. And so today we're going to do appetizers. Hmm. Uh, we will not do the drinks, however, that go with them because the uh, people around here kind of frown on that kind of hmm. activity. You can have some kind of a cranberry juice cocktail or whatever, but these are little uh, appetizers, little canapes. And we, we want to single-handedly bring back the canapé as a respectable appetizer. Well, it's been a long time since I've had a can of peas, and I'll tell you. Oh, no, canapé. Oh, canapés. Like oh, rhymes with two pays. Well, let's go over here all right, and see let's what we got. Go over, and we've but got first of all, I got to, well, no, I better not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I am going to do that. Well, I just need to get rid of the letters. Oh, <laughs> oh please. Anyway, I swear. Makes the biggest nest. And here we are. And look at this, everybody. Our fabulous new stove. Holy underwear. Look at this. Let me, I turned it does up Does it work? Yes, it does. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm surprised been, you didn't I've turn been, that on in my face. I'm going to be frying some bread here to, to put our little spreads on that we make. And then I assume that you can handle your own bread yourself. Well, I don't know. Maybe I can. Maybe I'll handle yours. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I've got cream cheese here. I'm going to do all kinds of little cream cheese spreads. Thus the name, the spread em Show. And I'm going to do spreads with chopped egg. So between the two of us, we're going to do a lot of interesting and easy ideas for making canapes for you to serve at your house with whatever kind of drink that it is that you have when you have drinks at your house and would need a canapé. Now the first thing you ought to do with cream cheese is let it set out for a while so that it will be spreadable because if you take it right out of the refrigerator it's going to be too tough to work with. You want it to be nice and pliable just like that. See how nice that works? Mm -hmm. well, what we're going to do is we're going to do different things with it. First thing, I, I bought some little sort of little cocktail shrimp. Oh, little broken I got cocktail some shrimp, too. And they don't cost very much and I'm just going to take them right out of the can. They're relatively inexpensive that way. And we're going to smush those up in there and that's going to be our first one. We're going to do a lot of different combinations. Now this is not probably cooking in the true sense of the word, but this is creating. You believe that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, now I'm going to drain these little things out because we don't want to use that. But see these little Little rascals are in. Oh, they're little baby ones. Aren't they cute? Uh huh. It's real pretty. If I had time, I'd name each and every one of them. But I'm not. I'm going to drain these things right now. And I'll be right back. Well, while he's doing that, let me tell you how to boil an Woo! egg. Hmm. What you need to do is put your eggs in a pan, cover them with cold water, bring it to a boil, turn off the heat, put a top on them, and leave them alone for 20 minutes, and they'll be finally boiled, perfectly done, and you don't need to worry about them. And they won't turn all nasty, different colors on the inside. Some people just work them to death. So that's the best thing to do. Larry? These shrimp are coming on real strong. I, th I thought it was you there for a minute, but no, it isn't. It's these shrimp. Now, if, if you can't get this stuff spreadable enough, you can add a little a tiny bit of whipping cream, and that's what I'm doing right now. Ever so little amount so that you can get this stuff so that it works a little better, okay? And then all we're going to do is we're just going to, we don't want a lot of them in this one because I'm not making a full recipe, but just smush those up in there, and that's going to be our first one. All of this stuff will be served on the tips of the fine toast, point. toast points. That's right. The very lovely toast points. Mm-hmm. Which I am working on in our fabulous new griddle here. I think it would be best if you made this up in advance so that the flavor has a little chance to go mm -hmm. all through the, the, uh, the, the cream cheese. Maybe mix it all up and put it in the fridge overnight. Oh no. What? I've gotten a jar of mayonnaise that's been sealed for your protection. <laughs> Is there nothing we've got today that, that doesn't have all these? I know it's good, but it just drives me nuts. All right, let me, uh, somebody's going to sleep out there. I believe it's Mike Carroll. I have got two eggs that I've mashed up, and I'm going to put. Well, uh, he always was a bit narcoleptic. Yes, know. he was. I'm going to put a, 
about a tablespoon of um, mayonnaise in there, and I've got my little shrimp too, Bly. Oh, really? Yeah, that I got. And, you know, really, you can get these little canned shrimp, and they're almost as cheap as tuna fish, so you don't have to spend a lot of money on them. My heavens, I said the word narcoleptic, and he ran from the studio. Oh, I know. Didn't Boris know Carr. what it meant. But anyway. Mm. Now, <laughs> poor thing. Mmm. Mm-mm. I have tried my yeah, first. I hope you're not going to put that fork back down in there. Well, I might. I don't know. You have to watch me. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you where I am or not. Have what? you still got this on? Yes. Because I'm going to have to do up some All right. toast points also right now. I think I didn't have enough mayonnaise in here, so I'm going to put some more in here. What are you making? I'm making, it's like a little egg salad, and this has got shrimp in it, and I'm going to put some salt and pepper in it too. Now, incidentally, for those of you that are like me and very cholesterol conscious. Uh, I've never seen anybody like you. Oh, well, I will admit there are very few. Hmm. One thing that you can do to be careful here is you can use one of the artificial egg things. Uh, is like, this safe cooking? Yeah. Oh, okay. You, you could use an artificial uh, egg and do the same thing with it. So. Did you put any butter on these toast points? No, I just put butter on the grill. Then. Is, is there enough on there for me? No. Well, I'll, I mean, not I'll for have, me. No, I'm not I'll, going to throw myself on the grill, but I mean for my Oh, well, I think points. it would be real cute because this grill probably could brand you if you did that. This is real nice. We have a new piece of equipment here. This is fancy schmancy built right into the thing. There, you can have that. Thank and you. I need to put some here on is, here. Here is some margarine. I <laughs> almost dropped it in the floor. We've got and a I'm new a, countertop this year. We're so excited. There are just a lot of things. They have spared every expense. They have really done a fabulous job for old Lair and even older Laban. Now, this is my little egg salad with shrimp. And, of course, if you could afford, and we can't, but if you could afford a food processor, one of the things that you could do with this would be to process this just real quickly and chop everything up real finely, but there is nothing wrong with this at all. And I'm going to, and see, all we're doing is just grilling this bread with just a little bit of butter and spreading these out. And I'll put these over here while Bly doesn't. What are you doing? Huh? What's your next Oh, uh, uh -huh. well, I was just uh, having a little fun with some of the people on the floor down here, but I guess now I'll get back to cooking again. What are they doing on the floor? Oh, Lane? nothing. We were just signifying to each other. They were giving me signals, and I was giving them signals, and we mm -hmm. were just signaling back and forth. And looks. Okay, now I got some more. I'm taking the other half of this now, and I'm going to make some other things up. I thought it might be real nice to... Well, I tell you what, I'm going to do a little chip beef. Just plain old out... The wonderful thing about chip beef is it's just so simple. You just buy it. How much simpler can you get than that? And just chop it up real well. We're going to chop some of that. And I might even put a, a little touch of onion in this one just to jazz this mm. one up just a little bit. A little chip beef and just a little tad bit of onion. I'm going to do combinations of things. The, the object of the game is to have a little fun with this and use your imagination. Did you hear mm -hmm. someone screaming in the background? It's Maureen going crazy in the back. She is, she's met the man of her life. And we, we got can't the same her. old crew, everybody. Yeah. They're back We sure us. do. They're real frisky this year. But they've worked real hard on the set, so we're not going to say anything real bad about them. Right. Oh, no, maybe later. I don't know. We don't want to hurt their feelings terribly. I just put some of that in there. I, that may be a tad bit much. And I'm going to take an onion, and we're, we're going to slice that just a little bit here. And in a couple of minutes, we're going to... Just mince up some onion and put it in there. I'm not going to take all day to do this. Well, I'm sorry. Well, what, <laughs> what do they want? They think we're a little dull. Well, we're not dull at all. <laughs> what do they want? They, I know what they want. They want meat and potatoes. This crowd does. Yeah. Either that or they want the accoutrements of our fine dishes here. Okay, now this is a little mincer. And this is really nice, but you got to be real careful because you don't want to get your fingers down in there. It'll be just a real mess. Oh, where did you get that block? Oh. <laughs> and don't say at the getting place. I get tired of hearing you ask this question. Johnson gave me this years ago and never oh, heard I the end of it. Really? I swear I'm going to give it back to him. I, I forgot. Just, Ten minutes. I just got started. The show just started. Ten minutes. I, I got... Okay. 
All right, a little bit of minced onion in there. Well, I can move along more friskily yeah. if you like. I can eat. Oh, my toast, my toast, my toast. Your toast. My toast. Now, I've got two more eggs, and this time I have put, these are mine, that I have put in it uh, two tablespoons of sour cream, and I'm going to throw some chives in it. Oh, no, not again. Another jar sealed. Oh. Well, I'm having a little problem with my toast points. Now, let me ask you this. Who could corrupt a jar of chives? Who would want to corrupt a jar of chives? What would you put in it to corrupt it? Well, I don't know. I believe this one's going to be a particularly Some of you nice crew, one. What, what could you put green in here to corrupt this? <laughs> don't ask them anything. They're being obstinate today. No. All right, well, I've got sour cream and chives in with All right, there are two of those. Now, moving right along. Oh, yeah, I'm I going got a little faster. parsley here. I'm going to chop up some parsley and put in some. Oh, I didn't wash this parsley, and someone will give me the fare they will on this oh, thing. I don't wash do. this parsley. Some lady has got a real hang got, up about Let me tell you, Bly, last unwashed night. Unwashed parsley. I, I was at that play last night, and somebody laid me to death about not washing the parsley, and that's the truth. Well, I'm glad I did. Well, it's especially when it comes well. out of your yard with all those cats you've got. Now, wait a, around now wait a minute. Cats do not like parsley that much. They don't go in there. <laughs> no, I, didn't. I heard one. Bunch of wise and hammers down here. <laughs> and, you know, I've smelled your cat's breath, and I think they would be well advised. Now, this one's going to be real pretty because I got some green in it. Unfortunately. There we go. So you didn't think we could have fun with this? Well, <laughs> <laughs> they still don't think we could have fun mm -hmm. with this. Hmm? How you doing, Mike? Hey. Eight. Oh my gosh, they're just signifying to us like I love parsley. Tomorrow. I really do. I love parsley. You know what I'm going to put in with that? What? I'm going to put a little bit of chopped cucumber in with that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to them. They're terrible down here. All right, then I won't. Let me fix a couple of these because I'm going to run out of time. I just know I am. Well, we're going as fast as we now, can. Now, isn't that lovely? Excuse isn't me, I'm that sorry. Lovely? <laughs> isn't that lovely? Boink. I'll set it there so you can find it. And then we're going to take some of this and put it on this. This is going to be very, very colorful. Oh, listen. Somebody asked. Old Dobbin is back yeah, again uh -huh, this year. Yeah, I asked Jim how much time was left, and he was doing his famous, uh, yeah, he has to pat his foot to figure out. Now, let's see here. This one I'm going to do with nuts. But, well, well, uh, some, what, 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 I'm going to make one more. I think I have time to do the one with cucumbers. I also have, along today, you call, there the little recipe could call for some zesty ones too, so you can take something like lemon or lime and squoze a little of that in there and then take the rind and put it in there, and that's real nice too. If I have time, I'll do that. Frankly, I'm a busy man. I don't know whether I'll get around to it. Or not. I'm going to put some cucumber in this one. That ought to be good for three minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, we haven't even used this stove yet, and I have got more stuff over in it. <laughs> Oh, well, speaking of that, I think we ought to show these recipes. Okay. They're so incredibly difficult. Uh, I hope you've caught these things. Oh, hard-boiled spreads. You need hard-boiled eggs, sour cream, mayonnaise, salt and pepper, chives, pecans, olives, mm. anchovies, ooh, chopped celery, baby shrimp, chopped liver. Any of that is real tasty when you mix it with your minced or chopped egg and you just mash it. You don't need anything fancy to do it with. Cream cheese spreads. Cream cheese. A little bit of cream to thin it out if you need to, or if you've let it set out for a while, you probably don't need to. I'm not doing much of that. Minced onion, or you can use chives, or a combination of lemon, lime, or orange juice and zest. Maybe some parsley, some celery. We've kind of tried several of these. Horseradish, bacon, chip beef. I've done some chip beef today. Caviar is a little beyond our pocketbook, so we didn't do that. I'm doing uh, chopped uh, cucumber right this very minute. We've done baby shrimp. And if I had Roquefort or blue cheese, I'd do some of that too, but I don't, so there. Okay, I've got the cucumber one now. 
I could have done with a little bit smaller pieces, but uh, that's okay. What a mess. Isn't this fun? Where's my, my points? Here we are. Well, now, I've done one with chopped egg, sour cream, and pecans. Whoops. Well, this is just real lovely. But I'm going to quit momentarily. Well, I brought olives, but I'm afraid I'm not going to have enough time to do it. Oh, there go are ahead. all kinds of neat things that you can So You're right, that add. is burning. I think you ought to cut that thing off because it's starting to make a lot of smoke. Well, that's all right. Mm. Well, that's pretty good stuff, Johnson. Pretty good stuff. Yeah. I Yow! think one with horseradish and bacon would be real tasty. Excuse me. I had a little problem with that one. And Do we have uh, Miss Witch uh, this year? Is yes, uh, she going to be she's flying here, in? Uh, but she, she didn't know whether she was going to have a letter today or not. She was feeling a letter. A letter. Oh, a letter. She had the letter last oh, year. Oh, that's right. She did, didn't she? She said she was feeling kind of poorly and that she would. Here she is, right here, right now. Excuse me. I need to wipe mm -hmm. my hands off a little bit here. <laughs> there. Go ahead. All right. What? What's? Excuse me. Well, it doesn't look like she has what? a letter. Now, Larry. What? Oh, she's signing to me in whip sign language. Mm -hmm. What's she saying, Johnson? Oh, all right. Well, we'll see what we can do about it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> What'd she say, Johnson? <laughs> What'd she say? I can't repeat it. She said, no, uh, what? Oh, my, my garment. Your girdle so riding up, that, Johnson? Folks. It's. I thought I'd lost weight, but look, I look fat as a pig. But anyway, yes, she, she said. Did. What? She said she'd had the flu. Oh. And did we have recipes for clear soup? And yes, we do, and we and we'll do, do. clear soups next week. But right That'll now, we're going to eat these fine little sandwiches that we made that the staff doesn't appreciate a whole lot. No, they don't. Because unless it's mashed potatoes and gravy. I'm trying. And I'm they're, trying. Not gonna, they're not going to get any He won't them. move, so I'm going to go by myself. Well, I just want to do one more, because I know <laughs> how much to do one more. <sighs> well, I'm going to try one of these. Well, now, you can't have them all. Oh, excuse me. Well, I'm going to try one of these baby shrimp one. Oh, no, Larry, we're just babies. Yeah. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. That's good. Oh, this one with the chip beef. The chopped chip beef. The chopped beef. Is real tasty. Mm. With a little onion so mm. 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 Oh, terrific. Oh, this would be so good with uh, oh, that is. something in soda Combination water. Combination of the minced onions and the... Mm. Mm. No, I've got to try one of yours. Now, what is this mess? That's got uh, shrimps in it. How do you tell one from... Oh, I see. You've got all kinds there. What? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, sort of got the idea. Mm. Ooh, mm. that's interesting. Mm. It's tasty, too. Matter of fact, these would all be real good. And you could use little teenier pieces of bread than we've done. So there you have it. Instant party food without being boring. And real easy. And easy to do. All you have to do is just use your imagination a little bit. You don't have to do a lot mash. of cooking. Mm -hmm. Chop and mash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love it. Well, we're glad you could stop by to our brand new remodeled kitchen and the same old us. Well, come on back, will you, next year or next week or whenever. Bye.